So this is supposed to be the new Gone Girl. However, David Fincher is a pretty high measuring stick, right? So Tate Taylor getting into like the cinematic ring with him? I don't know. I mean, Tate Taylor has a hit under his belt, The Help, but he also has a really big flop, Get On Up. And he doesn't have exactly David Fincher's visual flair. And I think that was a big part of why Gone Girl was so popular. Also the performances. The cast here is excellent though. And I'm as excited about Rebecca Ferguson from uh, Rogue Nation, the last Mission Impossible movie, as I am of course Emily Blunt. Emily Blunt, you know, it's been frustrating being a fan of hers. She just cannot like get over that hump of being like a fan favorite to a, a, a bona fide movie star. But I think like, so I'm, I'm putting all my hope behind Rebecca Ferguson. I'm like, okay, let's see if you can do it. Uh, so I'm curious to see how they come across. And also, you know, the Gone Girl story was very clever. It had a very good hook. Uh, and we'll see if this, this book uh, turns out to be as thrilling. For those of you who've actually read both, uh, I've he heard some people tell me they prefer The Girl on the Train to Gone Girl, uh, but it might, be, it might be a better written story but it maybe might not be as thrilling a twist. Twists, I mean, M. Night Shyamalan made an entire career out of them, right? Until they ended up, uh, you know, until he relied on them too heavily. But anyway, let's look at this trailer and see if we agree that it's the new Gone Girl. Or maybe its own thing. Ooh, that would be even better. A teacher once told me I was the mistress of self-reinvention. like having a secret and nobody but me knows I'm doing it seems kind of tabloidy I saw her I saw her from the train she was she was with this man just for a second. Is this her? Can you tell me where you were Friday night? I was in the city, and then I went to visit my husband. You mean your ex-husband? It's my understanding that the woman who has gone missing was his nanny. Rachel, I need you to stay away. So what did you do during those hours that night? I don't remember. There's some time missing. Who would admit that to the police? <laughs> so bad. What happened that night in the tunnel? Tell me the truth. You were seen in the area that night. How could you be so Did you murder Megan Hipwell? No. How could you be so I'm not the girl I used to be. How could you be so Why are you here? very serious. <clears throat> All right. The reason I laugh is that uh, yesterday I did my review of The Huntsman, Winter's War, and I said it should be called The Huntsman, Bitches Be Crazy. And I kind of feel like that's what this trailer feels like. Ah, oh, women and their problems, you know, because it's all women. It's like, all these, uh, you know, it would be one thing if it was like all these wives and mistresses and nannies, but then the police detective is also a woman, right? So it's kind of like, I don't know, it's like, ah, this is just like some woman woman craziness and all their husbands and the guys involved are like, I'm so sorry I'm involved in this. <laughs> and you know, you kind of have a situation where they're like, let them take care of it and just keep it to themselves, right? Like it just seems, I don't know, for some reason, uh, it seems a little trivial I, I, and like, you're kind of like, you're not like, no, I hope you didn't do it, Emily Blunt. You're like, mm, I kind of think you did do it, right? I don't. I, I, don't, I didn't read the book. I know this has a very big following. I know, as they said, it's one of the most shocking reads ever. Woo! But from, from a perspective of someone new to the material, uh, you know, I think that a big part of why Gone Girl succeeded was that uh, it was so uh, 
it was so sharp, I guess is a good way to describe it, right? Not, not only visually, but in the ideas that it presented and the performances. Uh, but also, you know, you had uh, Ben Affleck front and center. You had Tyler Perry as his lawyer, right? Uh, I think, I think that, that's, um, those are important elements to make it seem like it's kind of like, it's like for everyone, right? And there's something about this trailer that just makes me feel like, you know, it's a Lifetime movie, right? Uh, although I do enjoy Devious Maids, which airs on Lifetime. Uh, so that's just, that, that, that's how I feel about it. I wish this to seem more, a little bit more like, um, and also because of Tate Taylor's direction, I don't think it seems quite highbrow enough. Uh, to really seem like something that should, you know, get special attention, like Gone Girl did. You know, like, remember the poster for Gone Girl uh, and, you know, just the, the trailer? Everyone was like, oh, it's art, you know, it's David Fincher. And, and this, you know, it, 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 doesn't, it doesn't elevate itself to, be, to make you pay attention to it beyond the buzz. And, oh, Rebecca Ferguson, you know, clearly this is not her movie whatsoever. So we'll see. I mean, it looks very solid, uh, but, you know, does it look like something more, like, the more than a rental to you, right? Or like, oh, I really want to go to the movie, so I'll see this. I'm curious. What are your thoughts on it? And also, if you've read the book, what's not here? What What is the trailer not gotten across that made the book so wonderful? All right, thank you for watching with me. As always, you can leave your thoughts down below where we can continue this conversation, and you can check out some other episodes right now. Thank you.